Paul states in Philippians chapter number three, verse 12, not that I have already obtained it or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of that perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. I just simply want to encourage you on today to actively press on. That simply means that you are running this race right now. You are continuously running the race right now. And you're always in the midst of gaining momentum as you run. So I simply encourage you on today to actively press on. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come now thanking you for this another day that you have bestowed us with. Thanking you for the grace and mercies that you have granted us this morning, Lord. And we simply want to say thank you. And as we say thank you, Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins as we begin to start this day. Give us a heart to recognize the wrong that we do and to be willing to confess the wrong that we do and also be willing to repent for what we do as we actively pursue you day in and day out. Lord, we ask you to be with us. Even in the midst of the storms on today, Lord, we ask you to guide us. We ask you to comfort and keep us as we boldly serve you, Lord, like we've never served you before. We ask you, Lord, to prepare our hearts and to prepare our minds for what challenges await us on today. We ask you to bless our children. We ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are shut in. We ask you to bless those who have struggles in their home, Lord God. And let us all know that you love us more than anything, Lord. And we ask you, if we're on the wrong track, to place us on the right track, Lord, and plant our feet on solid ground as we stand boldly serving you and serving one another. Lord, we thank you for being a good God. We thank you for loving us in spite of the wrong that we do and contemplate, Lord. We ask you to give us a mindset, Lord, to not only love you, but to love one another. I know sometimes, Lord, we don't act like we love one another, but give us a heart, Lord God, to endure one another with patience, love, and kindness, Lord. And we thank you for this day. Even in the midst of this stormy weather, Lord, we know that you are in the process of constantly bringing us out of the storm, Lord God. So our confidence is in you on today. So we thank you on today. We magnify you on today. And we're going to do our best, Lord, to do what you have for us to do in this day. So, Lord, we ask you to be with us. Be our hedge of protection. Comfort and keep us. And allow us to have the strength to boldly go where you desire for us to go. Now be with us now, even in the midst of the storm on today. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And remember to actively press on and strive to take hold of being more like Christ and more aware of him. And as you do that, continue to gain momentum. Don't be stopped. And don't let obstacles keep you from the goal. Have a blessed day. God bless you.